is your thought on divine timing? Meaning, is there ever a time you're fully up to speed with what's in your vortex? Divine timing is any time you're a vibrational match to what you want. It's not only divine timing, it's not only perfect timing, it's perfect matching with wherever you are. So it's a little of this, 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 a little of this. And you know what? All of that adds up to a really good feeling life experience. It just keeps unfolding and unfolding and unfolding. Because a lot of people live this desert, this big gap of what they want and what they're allowing. And then something happens and they get distracted from the agony that they usually are oozing. And then they close the gap. And they say, oh, wow, but it doesn't last because it was sort of a fluke. They met a happy person who influenced their good behavior for a little while. You see, got to be consistent in your expectation. If a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there with ears to translate the vibration into sound, did the tree really fall? Yes, it's just that nobody heard it because no one was there to receive the sound of the vibration there are all kinds of things that are happening that you're not matching up with so you wouldn't call it good timing because you got to be there to match up oh we said something earlier that fits right with this it's that when you are moving in the direction of wanted that's what satisfaction is and that clarity is closing that gap you've asked for it and now the reason that we're putting it to you like this is because doesn't clarity feel good lovers not here yet but doesn't clarity feel good lovers not here yet but doesn't clarity feel good so there's vibration and as that vibration happens more then there is a translator of the vibra oh, say it again say it better there is a receiving of the vibration oh do you know that nothing is created until there is a perceiver that perceives the vibration there's no creation until someone perceives the vibration so you're looking around and saying not there not there not there not there not there because the vibration is over here this is what you want to start perceiving and how do you perceive what's in the vortex can't see it can't hear it can't smell it can't taste it can't touch it so what do you do to perceive it you feel it it feels like love it feels like clarity it feels like fun so you perceive it you perceive it you perceive it you perceive it by focusing and feeling for it and then what you want to call divide timing happens it's just the natural evolution it's what comes next first there's vibration then there's thought the more you think a thought the more you believe it the more you believe it the more you demonstrate it through manifestation when you think a thought often enough when you feel an emotion often enough then there is a vibration that becomes expectation so can you just imagine for a moment what the power of positive expectation is when you really get hold we had some conversations about this here today when you really get hold of the understanding that you're good and that you're deserving and that you're supposed to get what you want and that life is supposed to feel good and if it doesn't there's some recalibrating that you want to do rewiring that you want to do yeah so there's a whole lot of conversation going on about what's missing in my life well keep talking about that and it can't ever come in it can't come in what's missing in my mate what's missing in the government what's missing in life what's missing on the planet as long as that's what your belief and your expectation is there can't be enough divine timing and enough divine looking and enough divine loving because source energy doesn't have the power to tend to your vibration you're the creator you do that you do that there's free will for you you have the free will to live a shitty life <laughs> and you had the free will to complain about it and you had the free will to look around for better and that free will produced 
true asking that your inner being heard loud and clear focused on every moment since it happened adds every amendment to it that you add to it every relationship you had made this vortex relationship so much more magnificent so much more satisfying to you and your inner being focuses and focuses and focuses and focuses it's real it's real and it's there but you can't focus on its absence and have any timing at all you have to feel the presence of it you have to begin to feel like the most loved being on the planet the most deserving being on the planet so how do you feel deserving when something that you want you can't see because something that you want you can feel you can feel it you can feel your way to it so let's say that there are three or four subjects that are important to you and one of them is this missing relationship temporarily missing and a couple of other things are things that you really like to do so you've done the work and the cooperative components are being gathered and now you're off the subject that you always go negative on and you're on the subject of the things you like the fun you like the friends you like the madness and mayhem that you enjoy and as you deliberately focus there to make that happen no 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 not to make that happen in the moment that you try to make something happen you're trying to be the stage manager and you're trying to whip things into shape no you're not trying to make it happen you're letting it happen by focusing upon the things that are already happening you find the things in your life that are already a match to fun and you focus on them then more things that are a match to fun come into your experience you focus on the things that make you feel loved that are already in your life like the flight attendant that Esther doesn't even know his name Esther will never forget Get him when he came by and asked her what she wanted she knew he really wanted her to have something that she wanted he was not faking it he so wanted her to feel good in that moment so when you feel good about one thing you feel good the universe is saying uh -uh -uh. she feels good about a flight attendant she doesn't even know but does she feel good about her lover that's not how it works she feels good Whoop! divine timing she feels good Whoop! divine timing that's how it works find any reason to feel good and all the things that you want start showing up in your experience but you didn't know that did you because you thought you had to struggle and justify and convince something that doesn't exist some arbitrator you've got divine timing your inner being and the law of attraction all mixed up with your mother <laughs> strings attached to everything good enough yes, thank really, you. Good. really good really good if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next